Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome back to Call of the Sea. When last we left off, Nora had just gotten covered in black ooze at the bottom of a well, and then she saw like a giant fish thing on the horizon, and then she leapt into some water, and then she washed up on a beach. So, let's see what's going on there. All right, here we are again at the wreck of the Lady Shannon. I, I guess the thing isn't gonna pop up on the screen again, but this is chapter three. There's a, that looks like a giant statue head thing. So I can't really go out to the water, but let's see what's what. That ship torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? Well, I was gonna say maybe like a tsunami or a hurricane or something, but uh, those look like claw marks. I don't like that. We got big old claw marks on the side of the ship here. I'm gonna look over here first, because I would imagine the way forward is probably on the ship. Uh, what's over here? Canvases and whatnot? Oh, these are lights. Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. This almost seems like the kind of spot where you might tie someone up. Hmm. Could be seen beyond these shores. Okay, and then that just leads down here. All right, let's go back over this way, because I mean, there's a whole camp set up here. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. So I wonder if this is. So when the expedition got here, I wonder if they landed where Nora landed, or if they landed here originally. And if they landed here, then supposedly more than just the expedition would have survived. I would think. Or maybe they landed where Nora did, and then the whaler was going around the island and got beached over here somehow. Those are some nasty claw marks. I can see where it says Lady Shannon. I don't know. So maybe the crew of the whaler actually set up this camp. Well, let's see what we got over it's here. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights on. Portable typewriter. A pulp magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. Tales from Beyond, the house at the end of the world. A tale of mystery, fantasy, intrigue. Oh my gosh, Escape from Arcadia by Trevor C. Hills. This game came out a full four years before American Arcadia did. That's awesome. Never heard of this Eric Zahn fella. It's German. Gesamttaufname? Is that the name of the song? Well, it looks like it's the same thing on either side. Interesting. Someone here had a green thumb. Photographic film. Uh huh. Warden Blake News Agency, presented by Cassandra D. Ward. Ward. Cults and Rituals, an interview with Inspector John Raymond Lagrasse. What happened on this ship? Well, that looks like it might be Harry. That kind of looks like the guide that they had on the expedition. I don't recognize him. He's repairing my old music box. That's interesting. Attack? What attack? Frank trying to repair Harry's music box just before the attack. Huh. Interesting. I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. Newbury Export Tiara exp Exhibition coming to Boston. Okay. My god. Look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? It took the four of us to subdue him. Where did he get that strength? That was a well-timed lightning strike. Those footprints definitely do not look human. What? This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? The doctor seems to be whispering to some rocks. Are they floating? So that's the doctor? Wait, so was the doctor the one who was tied up there? How did he produce those tracks? Unless something else came and set him free. Okay. So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it twice. So it should be fixed, Mr. Everhart. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play music. <sighs> to bet. Have you been this whole time? Oh my god. He's got a knife! Get off me, you lunatic! Hold them! Hold them for Christ's sake! Call the Aurora, quick! 
Interesting. So he started to go nuts, and so they tied him to the post. I'm guessing something came and set him free, and then he stood on the beach whispering to floating rocks. Okay. That's, uh, that's nice. Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he call some... Interesting. So I guess they came to this campsite after they had been at the other one. There are only four chairs around the campfire. And there are only four chairs. Yeah, because there were five people after after Roy got killed in the explosion. And then after tying up the doctor, that would make four. Wow. The expedition only has five members now. Yep. Okay, there's gotta be a way to turn these lights on. What is this? Hmm. No power. No power. Okay, well, I see wires leading off that way, and I see wires leading off this way. It would make sense that there's might maybe some kind of power source on the ship itself. Oh, what was that noise? You hear that? Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I thought it sounded like somebody tinkering with some tools or something, but it was just the rope swaying in the wind. Okay. The ship's hull was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. Okay. I'm on the ship now. Hello, Lady Shannon. Don't mind me. Okay, well, the cords... Okay, well, there is there is power on the ship because that emergency light is on. So, this might be where the power is coming from. I don't know. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. I don't blame you, Nora. I don't blame you. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. I love the atmosphere in this game. <laughs> it's so it's so perfect. Okay. That is a dual mail. What are these? This is it right. Oh. I'll try again. Okay. So I need to get them in a certain order. Hopefully the power. Hey! Okay, cool, cool. Go back this way. Turn on this circuit box. Hey! I want to see what's down this way. That voice. Is that... Harry? No. Just a recording. What were you looking for in the heart of the island? I was thinking this expedition had failed, but then I found those stairs that led me to the giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. Interesting. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you've asked, Mr. Everhart. I'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us. Frank. Hmm. This is the captain's last entry. Okay, July 14th, 1934. 1025 AM. Good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the ship that rough in years. 1725 PM. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hull shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. Huh. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. June 30th, 1934, 8.25 a.m. We delivered the six members of the Everhart expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up again in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up by then. 12.40 p.m. Left the island after lunch. No incidents. July 1st, 1934, 6 a.m. The area nearby seems adequate for whaling. We might get a good catch. So that was July 1st. And then the last log was July 14th. Oh. The ship was whaling not far from here. Interesting. Well, I don't see any reason to not let that keep going. Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? Oh, wow. It's interesting that uh, we didn't pick up on the distress signal when we were coming into the island. I wonder if the signal is even getting off the island. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32 days. I'm assuming that's days. 
Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. On the island of Ponape, there's a city called Nan Modal that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it, the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. Interesting. Oh, a puzzle of some kind. Oh, are those knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. Are those floating? Whoa. Hello. Interesting. Whoa. write down those numbers in my journal. Okay, let's check the journal. Those hurts? Interesting. And okay, let's look at the log again. I lost consciousness inside that well and got covered in black ooze, but I didn't drown. Instead, I had the strangest dream. I mean, it was a dream, wasn't it? Or a vision, maybe? I'm still not sure. I couldn't control my own body. I jumped off a cliff and dived into the sea. November 7th, 1934. I woke up in the dead of night on a black beach. But I can't remember how I got here. I've just got fuzzy memories like a dream. An enormous shipwreck casts its shadow over the black sand on this beach. It looks like lights are shining through the cracks in its hull. The doctor seemed to be possessed by something that gave him incredible strength. The rest of the expedition had to subdue him and tie him to a pole. After several days of descending further into madness, the doctor disappeared in the dead of night. His restraints were torn apart, but there were strange footprints in the sand nearby. The ship has several colossal gashes along its side unusual in shape. It should have sunk in the ocean outright. How did it end up ashore? I thought I heard Harry's voice, but it turned out to be a call for help that he left broadcasting from the ship. I wonder if anyone responded. The ship is completely abandoned. What happened to its crew? The members of the expedition used whatever they could find inside the beach ship to build another campsite on this black lava beach. Harry discovered that the black gunk might have different applications. The ooze reacts to different sound frequencies and some can even make it float in the air. Did the inhabitants of the island know that too? Interesting stuff. Black ooze's properties are perplexing. Black ooze test. Changes consistency slash levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. And it looks like he tried a bunch of different ones that weren't what he was looking for. And I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damn black ooze in one way or another. The ancient ruins, the ritual well, even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. Interesting. And I guess that's what's causing the uh, black spots on her hands. Huh. Okay, that's as far into the ship as I can go. Let's get back out of the ship and onto the beach now that we've got power running. Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. Well, I think your illness might have something to do with the black ooze. And is it possible that the music box had some of the black ooze in it? And so that's what killed your mother. And then you got the music box in a, like as inheritance from her. So maybe that's where your illness comes from? I don't know. I didn't miss any boxes, did I? No, okay, so I think... Okay, so I see the box up there. I think the wires... I don't know. I'm just gonna follow this and see see if this one will turn on. At last, some light. Hey! Make things easier. So it's interesting that they set up these lights pointing at the thing here. I don't see any of those footprints now, just in the picture. Okay, so I think I saw everything there was to see in here. Give it a little once over, make sure I didn't miss anything. Think I'm good to move on to the other tents. Let's put that on. Okay, that turned on the power to that area. I'll look through this stuff first though. So this looks like it's just storage. The menu is rather limited here. Oh, it looks like it could go this way. What is on this side of the ship? I wonder. And that goes somewhere. This is a pretty big area. Some kind of improvised workshop. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. Interesting. 
You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. Good morning, crew. Sorry for the revelry this morning. I didn't expect to wake all of you up with the noise from that awful organ. The good news is the organ revealed the entrance to the temple. The bad news is that the temple is on the mountaintop, so I hope you're in the mood for a good hike. All joking aside, if the temple has the answer that I'm looking for, we can finally leave this damn island and go home. Thank you all for sticking in with me. Harry. Okay, so the first time I read organ, I was like thinking like an internal organ, like from the human body or that of an animal. Now I'm thinking it might be like, like the musical instrument, which that's interesting if that's what it is. So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. Frank, if we want to enter the temple on the mountaintop, we'll have to reproduce the effects on the organ somehow. I know we weren't planning on this, but we'll have to build a machine with whatever we can lay our hands on from the Lady Shannon. You think we can do that? Harry. What kind of machine were you building? Tables, piece of the mast, sheet metal. Interesting. Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. Frank, great idea. We'll move the materials we need to the summit so we can set up camp there. Just another thing, please stop calling me Mr. Everhart. Call me Harry, as all my friends do. Harry, interesting. And he's not a very chummy fellow. Whale? Um, I wonder if this leads to the organ. I see the, uh, the rope going this way. A burned photo. I can't make out what's in it. Looks like some sort of a stone key, maybe? Yeah, I can't hardly see anything right here. So I guess I'm going back this way. Wow, I got those slashes on this side of the hole, too. I mean, the creature that I saw in my dream last night could probably have done home, that. I'm going to read up on engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. Yeah, there you go, Nora. Dream about the future that you'll probably never have. Okay. So the organ might be through there, if I'm right in my guess. And some more storage stuff. A huge stone door looks like an exit. How does it open? Probably has something to do with the organ, if I had to guess. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, this feels ominous. Okay, that does not seem to have done anything. Oh, it's another well. Eh. Okay, interesting. I guess this... I guess there was a way... yeah. Oh, there's another thing here. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like I need to get each of those into the position where the black ooze is flowing through. Must be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Open, closed. Turning the organ by opening and closing the right tubes. Oh, tuning the organ. Interesting. And there's one here. Okay, so I want the black to be showing. I guess. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. That's interesting. I wonder why... I wonder if the height of the tide has something to do with something. Yeah, she made a note in the notebook about the sea level. Also made an entry about this... Oh, yeah, I, can't, I guess this is an organ. The structure is magnificent, but I have no idea how it was built. The sounds are mesmerizing, like something from another world. Harry managed to activate the organ, which revealed something at the top of the mountain. Another temple, maybe? And he intended to build some sort of machine up there. Interesting. Okay, so let's get this one moved to the black showing. And that one already looks like it's in the right spot. And that one's in the right spot. And now that one's in the right spot. What does this do, Hickey? Interesting. Do they all have that, or just, just this one? Huh. Guess I'll leave it open, like I found it. Okay, I, I seem to be missing one. Oh, right here. Okay, so that's not working. I wonder if this has to be closed, maybe? Well, let's try it half closed. Nope. Nope. 
Yeah, nope. Alright, I will leave that how I found it, and let's let's go explore the rest of the camp down by the beach, and maybe I'll find some more clues about how to move forward here. I'm quite scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. Okay, so we got the storage tent over here. What's in here? Discarded clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. Ooh, I wonder if the doctor was coughing it up. Man. A white fedora. It's really dirty. Yeah, this is definitely the doctor's tent. Oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loon. Yesterday the stones danced with my song. My song, Min Live Lidye. Everything is tuned in this place. There's a treasure in Shat Gokar Lu. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Interesting. These medical tools are hair raising. Yep. I, I concur. I would agree with that sentiment. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Frank, I understand what you were saying, but we can't leave Harry here alone. I know you must be thinking I'm only interested in a scoop, but what would you do if it were your wife who was sick? Would you let her die? I'm staying here to the end. See. Looks like oh. Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. Miss Ward, our lives are in grave danger on this island. Look what happened to Dr. DeWitt. The man is going completely bananas. I really think we should get off this island as soon as possible. Mr. Everhart was determined to leave until he found that organ thing. Do I have your support to try and convince him? Frank. Okay, so Frank wrote Miss Ward, and then she wrote that reply to him. These two fellows seem to get along pretty well. Huh. That's nice. Frank and Teo Aurora singing while working in the show workshop. You know, it's kind of convenient that they all wrote each other letters and stuff instead of just talking to each other face to face. You know, you know convenient for me. Okay, what's through here? Whoa. This is a weird cave. Okay, looks like there's another tent in here. I had to guess this is probably Harry's setup. Tide levels measurements. Harry Everhart. Oh. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. Oh, okay. Oh. Interesting. Oh! I think this is the right one. So at the different tide levels, you have to set it up differently. Oh, oh. I found some stuff. It looks like Nora. I'm sorry, what? Well, that cartoon was unexpected and inexplicable. So you got Nora standing in black ooze. She jumps into it and that monster comes out. It's not creepy at all. Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. That makes sense, I guess. So today's November 7th, which is a new moon. And the next full moon is on the 21st, okay? You always did have a good ear, Harry. I've been studying the structure for the last few days. The tones it emits change consistently with the tides. How can someone build something like this out of stone? Huge stone pipe organ section. Oh, so you got the sea. There's a basalt structure. This is, I guess, what it's made out of. Waves push air through carved stone tubes. Interesting. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Oh, fascinating. Oh, hello. What kind of doodad is this? Well, this is the kind of doodad that uh, makes things float, I think. Okay, so we got another uh, little deal here. Harry found another unknown structure built by a previous civilization. He keeps searching for answers, even as they wait for help to arrive. The tidal organ emits musical notes when the water pushes air through its tubes. Oh wow, okay, I got a lot of new notes here. Okay, so I want 262, which is this one. 
Okay, so let's do 262, 349, which is that one. So we got this one, then that one. And finally, 415 is this black key. Okay, I have no it's idea what that's tuned. doing. I expected no less from you, old pal. Wow, look at the size of these stones. Wow, South Pacific Expeditions. Megalithic basalt stones. Oh, that's a weird carving. It's like a clawed hand holding something. Oh. Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys. Fascinating. Oh, okay. Okay, so got one dot, four dots, and the uh, side to side arrows. Yeah, okay, okay, interesting. So it seems like that's everything that was in here. I want to go up and see what I find. Wow, this is a big cave. Here's another one of those sigils on the floor. Sometimes I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream. Okay. It's curious, but. It's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. What is this? Okay, so we got one of those priest guys from the well. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. That's the stone organ, you ignoramus. Obviously. Got the three floaty things above the stone organ. Okay. So I guess what I gotta do is, is I gotta go back to the organ. Uh, I've gotta set it up correctly for the tides, uh, which valves are open or closed based on the tides. And then I have to hit the notes that I came up with in order to make the thing open, I guess. That is my working theory. Okay, so let's figure this out. Wait, so those change based on... Okay, okay, so I wanna close the ones that I don't want playing and leave the ones open that I do want playing which would be this one, this one, and this one, which means I want this one to stay open. The uh, arrows going up and down. I want the single dot to stay open, and I want the two dots next to each other to stay open. Everything else can be closed. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I do not want that one open. I do not want that one open. I do want that one open, right? Yes, uh, I think I want that one open, yes. Leave that one open. Wait, I thought I already saw that one. Oh, those are two different ones. But either way, I don't need it open. And then I want that open. Okay, so then let's see what we got over here. I have four of them still open. The one I don't need is the arrows going side to side. So where was that? Oh, I might have missed this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me close that one. Perfect. Still not doing anything. Oh, it's a new moon. Yeah, so if it's a new moon, then you close this. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Holy my. What kind of magic is this? Whoa! Hello. That's interesting. Seaside Serenade. Play an in ancient instrument. Well, that door doesn't look like it opened. Uh, there's something over here. Interesting how this doesn't even look wet. Granted, that may or may not have been intentional on the part of the developers. I'm not trying to throw you guys any shade or anything. Like, this and American Arcadia are two of the best games I've played recently. Okay. What is this? Oh, hello. Going up. What is this? Another letter from Harry, perhaps? My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. 
Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always, Harry. Hmm. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. So did y'all notice that the knife that the doctor stabbed Frank with was the same one that she got in the package at the beginning? Okay, what do these do? Let's see what the next one does. A lot of these key diamond things. Bet you'll never guess what this last one does. Huh. Is, is that it? Interesting. So the highest peak on this island is some sort of temple, I guess? I'm not sure why, but I don't feel this island is dangerous. Maybe it's because I haven't spent as much time here as Harry did. What? You don't think this island is dangerous? Girl, what, what part of this doesn't look or feel dangerous to you? That's like green freaking lava, and this doesn't feel dangerous. That's ridiculous. Okay. Chapter 3 is over, I'm assuming? The Vanishing of the Lady Shannon. You have completed Chapter 3. The aesthetic in this game is just oh, breathtaking. That was quite a hike. Okay. Chapter 4. Quite a show. Man, this is gorgeous. Just look at that. Look at that. I could, I could fall, and who knows how long it would be until I crash down to the ground beneath. I mean, just look at that! Just look at that! Can we just, like, take that in for a second? I've been seeing these horseshoe-shaped pillars all the way up. Do they mark a path? I guess? I don't know. There's, there are also a lot of these fish head statues all over the island. Wow. I'm at the top of the mountain. I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. No, it's funny because I hate humidity in real life, but I just love like this high up mountain, foggy, rainy kind of aesthetic, you know? <sighs> Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. I couldn't agree more, Nora. Couldn't agree more. Although I guess if the weather was like cool, then I wouldn't mind humidity as much. But then if, you're, if it's raining like this, I would want it to be a, l a little bit warmer because then the rain is going to bring the temperature down a little bit. So what is this? They built all this just with pieces from the beached ship. Frank sure must be a real whiz. I honestly don't even know why I'm climbing this right now. Surely there is something at the top of this ladder that I can see. These look like speakers or something. Hmm. No power. No power. Okay, so uh, I gotta follow it down over there, I think. Or off that way. Okay, well, going down. Oh, there's a little hut here that I can barely see inside. Uh, let's go see if turning on the power will do something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Frank died. Oh, Frank had a daughter named Evangeline. What a darling. Evangeline and Dad. So Frank fought in the Great War. Oh wow, private. Uh, is that the 369th Infantry? Man. I'm so sorry. He was such a talented man. And he seemed to be a good friend of Harry's. Well, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say that the stabbing of the doctor might have infected Frank with that black ooze, which could have eventually led to his death. Yeah, wow, there's a water this wheel. Turbine to generate electricity under the falling water. But the stream isn't close enough to the wheel. Huh. 
A Bible. It must have belonged to Frank. He thought it was a flesh wound, but it kept getting worse. I've tried to do something with this wound from DeWitt's attack. No matter what I do, it still looks infected. I feel worse every day. Man, what a terrible way to go. Blood-soaked rags. Yikes. Okay, so apparently that's not where the tower power turns on. Unless I need the the wheel to be under the water before it'll power it. But then how do I move the wheel under the thing? If these don't do anything. These levers connect those gears to direct the wheel's energy into the turbine. Right. So what what can I do with them? Is there anything on the back side? There is something on the back side. Oh, okay. 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 So that one should get that one. Why aren't they sticking in place? Maybe I have to start with the other side. Okay, maybe maybe the turbine has to be powered before it'll I'm confused. Let's see if there's anything new in the notebook. Okay, so some new stuff here. Okay, so I already read that. I found another of the letters Harry wrote on the island. I know he's gone through a lot, and it seems to be affecting him deeply. I wonder why I'm not experimenting any of the sensations Harry did. I think that's supposed to be experiencing. I don't know how to explain it, but my sensation isn't that this island is dangerous. Puzzling, yes. Perplexing, definitely. Maybe even unearthly, but not dangerous. And then I already read that. I carefully studied the notes the expedition left behind, and I managed to make it work. The organ played a haunting tone, and some pillars of basalt rose up from beneath the sea. What a spectacular sight. What did they use this for? The final notes of the organ moved a gigantic stone structure before my eyes, showing me a mountain peak where a temple was. That must be where Harry was headed. As the sun rose, a light rain started. I'm almost at the top of the mountain, where the giant stone structure that the organ revealed is. The expedition built a strange metallic structure at the summit, in front of what seems to be an ancient stone temple. The members of the expedition used materials from the beached ship to build this structure. Frank's health seems to have been getting worse, and he finally died. It is so sad. Such a good man. The structure Harry's crew built is powered by a hydroelectric generator, but the waterfall isn't powerful enough to move the wheel. Okay, okay, so it's not a problem of the positioning of the wheel, it's a problem of the amount of water. So if I go over to the other side of this little plateau area, there might be a way to increase the flow. Huh. There are some sort of sound devices built around this amphitheater. Interesting. Okay. There's a sort of amphitheater where Harry and his crew built a complex sound system. Alright. Homemade loudspeakers. Probably to amplify the sound. Okay, interesting. There's a symbol inside. Oh, I wonder if this is like a door? Probably. I'll probably have to find like some sort of correct resonance in order to open this temple up. But to do that, I need power. Uh-huh. Okay, so we'll then what's over this way? Down the steps. Is this where I came from? No. I think I came from that way. Heavens, looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents. All but one. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry, but art has never been your thing, old pal. Oh my gosh, that's pretty, uh, that's a face only a mother could love right there. Okay, and more of these things. So this tent did not get crushed. A torn picture. Maybe the Polynesian guy didn't like people taking pictures of his scar. Okay, yeah, now I can see the scar. The only tent that came out of the rock slide in one piece is the one filled with amulets. Which might have been Harry's tent, because he kept the amulets. It's either Harry's tent or the tent of the guide. Well, um, oh, there's another symbol up there. So what do these buttons do? Because I need to find some way of increasing the flow on the waterfall on the other side so that I can get the power brought up and then with the power I can power the speakers and stuff. Ooh! Are these figures singing like a choir? Okay. I guess singing some sort of chord or melody or something opened up the door. 
These drops of rain are so refreshing. Feels really good. Yeah, like that's what I was just saying. Like I, I feel like I would love just sitting up here in this rain. Okay, um, I'm gonna go check the tent that had no light in it. See if there's maybe some clues on how to proceed. Yeah, I would love it if I could get that light to work. I'll have to use the ship's turbine and juggle with the things I got from the ship to make this work. Let's see if I manage to power the whole set with just the scarce materials that I have. Harry's convinced the answer to my illness lies inside that temple. Temple. Black ooze and Nora's illness. Got to open that door. Nakal? No. Oh. So this is like Atlantis, but in the Pacific Ocean, right? According to the legend that said the continent Mu sank into the Pacific thousands of years ago, its massive stone structure is generally irregular in shape, contrasted with the unique use of diamond shapes. This is reminiscent of other rhomboid symbols, such as the Los Losange or the Hindu Lakshmi star. However, experts believe that in the specific case of the Nakal structures, instead of representing fertility and prosperity, the rhombus was a sign of transformation and evolution. Interesting. Hmm. They built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ. Very clever, old pal. Oh, interesting. Reproducing the effect of the organ. Okay, so you have loudspeakers up here and over here. That leads off to the generator. His low spirits are obvious in this photo. What was wrong with Frank? He looks so thin. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to find this photograph before I found his grave. Is that supposed to be like a selfie? Like, <laughs> and Moby Dick, what a book to bring on an expedition like this. So there must be some way of getting that water to run down more fully. I'm really sorry about Frank. Harry doesn't have many friends. When you finally do get to know him, he's so witty, so funny, a loving person. But it takes a lot for him to open up. Does this do anything? Okay, we got a couple more of these. Harry intended to open the stone door with all those contraptions. But how? Frank the engineer seems pretty thin and weak in the pictures. He looks like he's very sick, and then he, his health got worse and he died. But then they built the sound system in the amphitheater. Maybe crowds used to gather in this place to sing certain music to open that door. The rock slide crushed all the tents in the camp, except the one that was protected with amulets. So it looks like in the notes there are four of these symbols, and I've found three of them. So there might be another one somewhere around here. Oh, did I see this one before? Aha! Okay, so I got four of these now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those are those four symbols. Yeah! Okay, and what about the one over here? Is that the same? Yeah, okay, so it's the same layout. And there was one over on this side too, wasn't there? Yeah, okay. And it's the same layout as the other two. Okay, so what does that have to do with these? Okay, so it looks like in this mural, uh, that symbol is above this guy. Then in this mural and this mural, you've got this symbol and this symbol, both above this guy. And then in the third one, you've got that symbol above this guy. But what would that have to do with the thing? Okay, so assuming the top of the diamond is the furthest left, and the bottom of the diamond is the furthest right, with those two corresponding to these two, let's try that one for this one. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to go with that. On this one, I will go with that. And on the last one, I will go with that. Did it do anything? That does not seem to have done anything. Nope. Back to the drawing board. Oh, wait. Okay, let's try this instead. Um, I think I was overthinking it. So that symbol is on the top. I'll put that there. And then this one, it was on the side here. Let's try that. And then this symbol was on the bottom. Did these stone columns just vibrate? Amazing. Oh. The hatches are opening. Okay. I guess I must have already had the last one right somehow. Okay, cool. Yeah, I must have had it right because I put two of them in the uh, left slot. The left middle slot. There we go. The water wheel is turning. Hey, hey. Now the wheel is moving. Okay, let's get this. I'll start on that side. Hey! Rotate that around. Get that one into position. 
There we go. And put you into position. Huh, that was easy. Boom! Okay, so should these turn on now? <sighs> More power. What? These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. Oh. Oh, I think I need to connect them all. Okay, so it's one of those puzzles. Um. Yeah, I did this wrong. Hold up. There we go. That should give the turbine some energy. Yes. I did it. Now everything should be powered. Great. Okay. Lights on. I finally opened the water hatch. And now the waterfalls carry a lot of water. Enough to move the turbine's wheel. But it seems the generator needs a bit of a tune-up. Oh, well, I already did that. Okay, so now the power for this thing should be on. See if there's anything I missed in here. Uh huh. There we go. Now I'll climb up on top of this thing. Because wasn't there another, like, power box thing? Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Transformer? Switch? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I think there was another box up here. Well, what? Did I do something wrong? Come on, work. Come on. Yes. <laughs> what? Um. Now what? What's happening this time? Where am I? Please tell me this is some kind of dream, and not real. Now this climate is the exact opposite of what I would like to just hang out in. This does not- I can feel the fever rising. Oh god, no. My illness. Is it coming back? Is that seaweed? Oh no, those are fish bones. Is this an ocean? An ocean that dried up? Oh, like I'm on the ocean floor. Also, there's that whispering again. Whoa. That came out of nowhere. My cane. No, I would rather die than use that damned thing again. Okay, moving on. Man, this is uh, this is not how You're I was so expecting dry. this day to go. I need to find water. Okay, so I think the first one was leaving her mother's funeral, My probably. Bed. Another memory. Of my illness. How many times did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? What are these giant bones from? I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. Okay, let's uh get into the shade then. The horseshoe shaped pillar. And that diamond shape again. It looks like the path leads this way. Man, those are some gnarly looking skeletons. Looks like a I can't pyramid? Take much more of this. I feel woozy. Oh no, it's a house. Oh, I wonder if that's her house. In Denver. Is that a house? It kinda looks like the one from the notebook. What? The Nora Nomicon. Nora didn't write that, did she? Whoa. Okay, okay, here's Nora Barrows and Harry Everhart. So I guess are those her ancestors? That's an interesting name right there. That would be what? Her, uh, Eleanor Marsh was, I guess, her mother. Isaiah Marsh. So her great-grandmother? It kind of looks like the language that the doctor was writing in. Fascinating. Oh. That's a house. That's our house in Inglewood. And there are fish all of a sudden. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? Uh, the answer to that could be yes. That's our mailbox, too. Uh, Harry? Uh, are you home? Whoa. Good news is I found water. I miss you so much, old pal. A picnic with Harry's brother and sisters. I started wearing gloves shortly after that day. Yeah, I can see the spots starting to form on her hands. Yeah, I can't go any further than this. Up the stairs. I am 
definitely losing my mind. Ah, you could I be don't dreaming. understand what is happening, Harry. Are you? Oh, hello. That is so cool. The Everhart twosome. What a duo. Harry gave me this necklace after one of his scavenger hunts. It's a photo of my mother and me. She had just gotten worse from her illness. Yeah, look at those spots right there on the neck. The happiest day of my life. Hmm. And one of the few pictures of Harry without his glasses. Oh, that's some interesting, like, uh, coral or whatever. That's a very cozy little place. Oh, uh, there's the music box. I might my come back to that last. Music box. Yet again. Yeah. I'm gonna touch that last. Checkmate in three moves. Wow, that was fast. I can't even tell what the king... Okay, that looks like a king, and that looks like a king. Huh. Greetings from Jihad Nethle. Cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. Wish you were here, Cousin Robert. Hold up. Cousin Robert. Robert Olmstead. Okay, so there's the great-grandmother with the weird name. Her branch goes over to Alice Marsh, which I guess was Isaiah's sister. She married Benjamin Orr, and had Eliza Orr, who married James Williamson. I guess Beth Williamson married Louis Olmstead. to Robert Olmstead. So that's the great-grandma. That's two Gs. That's her great-grandma. For him, it would be mom, grandmom, Great grandmom, great great grandmom. So for him, it's three G's. So he's her second cousin once removed. I think that's how that works. Fascinating. Okay, music box, what do you got for me? That's oh, a mermaid. What a sweet melody. Yet Frank said he couldn't get it to work, and even speculated that maybe it was never supposed to work. 506 East Hamden Avenue. Were those the three notes that opened the... Uh, the door what, with the organ? What was that? Another vivid dream? And my music box again, but... It wasn't broken anymore. And what a catchy tune. Well, it looks like the light's on, so I'm not gonna try that again. <laughs> oh, I couldn't, couldn't even if I wanted to. Okay, so let's go open up this door, I guess. Homemade loudspeakers. Probably to amplify the sound. Oh! There's water running through here now. Oh, this actually filled up. It's a pool. Okay, so how do I get... Aha. Over here. Oh, there's a microphone. What? Huh. Like the air inside the horseshoes are distorted. So I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. I'm so stupid. Such an arrogant idiot. That rock slide could have killed everybody. And all thanks to my stubbornness. Alright. Can you turn it on, Cass? Please, sir. We should not do this. Not now. Haven't we had enough warning, Mr. Everhart? What else do we need? Another death? Listen to me. Frank lost his life setting this whole thing up. So we're not going to discuss it anymore. We're going to activate it, period. Is that clear enough for you? Hey, you. Hey, Ma! Fine, same to you. Please, Cass, activate. <laughs> Those are the organ notes. That's what caused the rock slide. Okay, let's try the uh, music box tune. Maybe. I sung since I got sick, but let's give it a shot.
I did it. Okay. What lies inside the mysterious temple? Hello. I can't move from this spot, but I can look around. Huh. Are you gonna open now? That was quite a show. There we go. Okay. Further up and further in. Out of the rain at least. This feels like hallowed ground. It's pretty. I mean, this whole game is pretty. So it looks like they did make it in here. Somebody did. No clues or anything. Another mural. Are they bathing him in black ooze? Yeah, same thing that happened to you down at the well. One of these symbols. Could be a writing system of some kind. His hands are changing, like in my dream. Oh, interesting. Yeah, more writing. Look at those spots. They look like mine. And he's also growing fins. Remember when she jumped into the water and uh, she was swimming toward that thing and the hands? Interesting. Yeah, he's like a mer person. Now he's some sort of man fish? Huh. Fish of every size and shape. And they're all speckled. Fascinating. So the black ooze turns people into fish? Guess that explains all of the fish motifs. What do we got over here? This looks like the same kind of elevator that was in the campsite. So upper floor, tunnel, ground floor. Another elevator mechanism? <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. Common patterns and fishes. She sounds worried for him, I think. He's been up there for three days now, and he won't answer me. What did he find? If I could go up. Hmm. So I guess Cass waited down here for him? Okay, only one way to find out. Where is this taking me? Hello. Looks like I'm inside the giant fish head that I saw from below. Interesting. Oh. There's another door, I'm assuming. Water animal. Harry marked this symbol for a reason. I'd better write it down. Okay, so I guess that symbol is like plant life or something. And that symbol must refer to the, the moon, maybe? What have we got over here? That one seems to do with water. Okay, so that's transformation. A caterpillar to butterfly, tadpole to frog, and human to merperson? Interesting. And then you have that one marked as water animal. And then back on this page, I got a new one. When Harry turned the sound system on, he probably did something wrong, and that caused a rock slide. And then I think I read both of those. I managed to turn the power on, but the electric current knocked me out cold. And then I had the strangest vision. A desert filled with the skeletons of odd sea creatures. And our house in Englewood was floating there. I found my music box inside, but now it was playing music. I can't get the tune out of my head. That vision was so vivid. More than a dream somehow. And that song... I feel it's connected to the island somehow. When I got in front of the mic, the song from the music box came into my head, and then into my voice. With a thunderous sound, the temple rebuilt itself right in front of my eyes, and the door opened. It was weird, but I knew that was the right song. The temple door leads to a spiral hallway with murals on the walls. Harry used an ancient elevator to climb to the top of the temple, but he didn't come back down for days. What did he find up there? The elevator took me to the second level. I'm amazed about this technology? The civilization used the black ooze for everything. The upper room is an impressive hollow in the fish head, decorated with murals and intricate figures. It seems that Harry discovered that those symbols were words, and he spent a long time trying to find their meaning. Okay, so I got a bunch of more, bunch of new stuff over here. Oh, and those symbols are still there too. Okay, let's check this note. I've seen this symbol in the murals several times. I guess it can be applied to both water and black ooze. Yeah, liquid, water, fluid. Yeah, that's the one in that symbol, right? And I can do something with this. Oh, interesting. So I'm assuming I need the right combination to open that. Okay, let's see if there are any more clues over here. Oh, hey. John McCormack's Dear Old Pal of Mine? A favorite song. Well done, Harry. 
Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things out. Word A plus word B equals a new word. Their language works by combining different symbols to create a new one. Ideograms? This one was really hard to figure out. Good job, Harry. Eternal, forever, infinity? Eternal I'm plus to life. This language. So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. The rotating the north and the wheel causes the symbol to change quadrant. Okay, so that's the symbol. So that symbol... What? Rotating the north in the wheel causes the symbol to change quadrant? Wait, so you move that to there and the symbol goes from there to there? Huh? God's blood. Does... does this mean that... Is this related to me somehow? To... to my disease? Icor. The black ooze is Icor. Those who have God's blood are destined inevitable transformation into a water animal to eternal life live forever fascinating okay looks like he left us another letter my dear old pal nora i wish i could write something else but a long time ago i promised you i would never lie to you so here goes there is no cure for your illness what you carry in your blood is changing you, and it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life, I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, DeWitt, Roy, all for nothing. Maybe Teoharo is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papiete. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? Huh. But... but he didn't finish the letter. What did you do, Harry? Where are you? I know for sure that you didn't go back home, so what... What do I do now? Are you still on the island? I have to find you. Well, this one was easy, I think. Yeah. Transformation, evolution. Wow. Okay, got a ton of new notes here. Rotating the north. Yeah, I still don't understand what that means. Got it. Transformation, liquid, eternal. Then the combining symbols creates words. So this is God's blood. Destined, inevitable transformation. Water, animal, and eternal life. Well, so does that mean like God or something? Okay, so here's his letter to her, his last letter. I'm scared to put this down in writing lest it make it true. Harry seems sure that there's no cure for my illness. In a vague, unfinished letter, he says that my body will keep changing until the end. But what end is Harry talking about? Death? I don't think so, Nora. I think the end is you becoming a mer person, a, a mermaid, if you will. Oh, there's another note over here. Okay, it's life or alive. Words and symbols can keep their meaning after thousands of years. And it's amazing how some words and symbols change their meaning after thousands of years. A complex pattern. One, two, three, four. Okay, so apparently these numbers are related to to these things, somehow. Wait a minute. Okay, wait. So, so transformation and eternal were together. A transformation has one thing under it. Yeah, transformation has one thing under it. Yeah. Rotating the north and the wheel, which I guess is this, causes the symbol to change quadrant. I thought I heard something over there move. Okay, maybe I'm just getting the sound wrong. Well, maybe that's all that I'm hearing. Okay, so moving the north there. So it looks like rotating the north causes the symbol oh okay i see now i see now right so where the symbol is gotcha so if you turn your head then then that would line up with the picture here okay so what's the point of getting those moved around okay so god's blood is life eternal and liquid so life liquid eternal god's blood that's eternal transformation Okay, life liquid is an anim water animal, and eternal life is life and eternal. Okay, okay. But why do some of the symbols have... Why do some of the symbols have multiple stars? 
causes the symbol to change quadrant, but there's more than one symbol on most of these. But what does that have to do with this? Okay, so I want one to be... Gotcha! Okay, okay. So one is God's blood, but how does that... Okay, wait, so... Oh, hello. Was that there before? Someone punched the wall so hard that they bled. Was it you, Harry? Probably. I mean, there's the, uh, the drink stain on the wall over here from where he threw the bottle. A broken liquor bottle? Is this Harry's? Uh, he hates booze. Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not deciphering this? Or because of what he discovered when he did? These circles don't seem to do anything. Okay, so what am I... What am I trying to... F okay, so... Oh, there's a little bit more to the log here. Harry looks disoriented, irritable, and confused. He's never been a drinker. Not even before Prohibition. Okay, so... Somehow, I've got to rotate these things to where it lines up with these. Okay, so there's transformation, liquid... I mean, the transformation, the only one that it appears in is number two. Relative to this, I have that in the correct position. So then this one is liquid. So the liquid one is in both God's blood and water animal. Oh, okay, it's in... Got you! So that's lined up perfectly. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Eternal, let me guess, it's in three of them? Yes, it's in this one, this one, and this, this one. So it's in two, one, two, and four. So I want to rotate it to where it's like that. So I think that would be like this. Yeah. And then Life is in these three. So I think I also need to turn that one over. This is the right combination. Hey, hey! Okay. This is... Very atmospheric. I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? Wow. Okay, what do we got here? Got some sort of swirling mist. Unless that's supposed to be liquid of some kind. It appears Harry didn't advance any further. I can't go any farther. I've tried everything. And this isn't working. It is not wor- It is not working? What do I need? I followed the sequence correctly and my hand. I can't get that thing to work. I need to cross the river down there. Anyway, for what? Interesting. So what... What is this? Those are drums of some sort. Uh, I can sing, but I'm awful when it comes to playing music. I screwed up. Okay. Got that wrong. Okay. So it's basically just Simon says. Did I get that Boom. right? Let's try again. Dang nabbit. Okay. One, two, three. Three, one, three. Wasn't there something about the, uh, yeah, the hand? Harry didn't have the black ooze, but Nora does. Okay. Harry said it didn't work for him, so it shouldn't work for me either. No. Nope. There's something different about my hand. Yep. Anyway, Nora, 
You know what you've got to do. Quite a show. You've completed chapter four. Okay. <gasps> my hands. Look at my hands. This is definitely not a dream. And I'm starting to doubt the others were dreams too. Weird. Chapter five, sunken. Okay, well, I'm afraid that's where I've got to call it for today. Yeah, wow, this, uh, this is getting interesting. <laughs> So it seems like the the islanders wanted to evolve humans into mer people and the process had something to do with the black ooze. So I guess when he said that there was nothing that he could do for her disease and that it would just ride out until the the end, I'm guessing that means that she's going to turn into a mer person, which it looks like she just did. But then you got the this like blood of the gods if this is based on like lovecraftian stuff then like cthulhu and some of the other like old gods that might be where the black ooze comes from and that big creature that she saw on the horizon might have been one of them fascinating i for one am looking forward to the next episode so stay tuned for that subscribe ring the bell you don't want to miss a thing yeah if you like the video please drop a like and leave a comment letting me know what you're thinking about how your day's going, favorite flavor of ice cream, whatever you want to say. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.